And then the crisis spread to one of Wall Street's biggest and most respected firms. Not since the Great Depression has the federal government stepped in to help a failing financial institution in this country the way they did over this past weekend. Panic selling has brought Bear Stearns, an investment bank, to its knees. J.P. Morgan Chase buys the firm, but only after the government loans $30 billion to buy up Bear's most toxic assets. The Federal Reserve has moved quickly to uh, bring order to the financial markets. Uh, Secretary Paulson is supportive of that action. The man at the center of it all, Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson, knows he has dodged a bullet. After Bear Stearns, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think it was over? Oh, oh no. What hit us big time, all of us, was, wow, if an investment bank gets hit by a run in the middle of a panic, we don't have the authorities of the United States government to save them unless there's a buyer. Within hours of the rescue of Bear Stearns, all eyes turn to the next giant that might fall, Lehman Brothers. Lehman's books are loaded with troubled subprime mortgages. I had 60 calls with Dick Fold from the time Bear Stearns went down until Lehman failed. I said, what you should be doing is you should be raising capital and you should be looking for a cornerstone strategic investor or working to sell the business. And what did he tell you? Well, he's an optimist. So he basically said, I've got plenty of capital. We don't have a significant risk. But Lehman's falling stock price is telling a different story. Financials took a big beating Lehman down almost 20%. In just a few months, Lehman has lost nearly half its value. Fold is enraged and blames those betting against his company, the short sellers. I am soft. I'm lovable, but what I really want to do is I want to reach in, rip out their heart, and eat it before they die. He would come up with these wacky ideas. He had this idea of Spinco, where he was going to put his bad assets in a pool and spin them off. And he would say, well, I want the government to guarantee it, or the government to put in capital. And we explained ad nauseum that the government couldn't do that. 